Hey Thrivers, Matt here from Virtual Web. Thanks for joining this lesson. We're going to learn how to do a custom 404. Now, as you probably know, with uh, Thrive Themes and Divi, which are the two uh, themes or frameworks that I prefer to use with WordPress, uh, like any other, they come with a standard uh, generic 404 that basically somebody lands on a wrong page for whatever reason, has a general 404 message and may or may not direct them back to a home page or another page. Um, that's not always ideal. I think a 404 is a really good opportunity to show some personality with your site and uh, who you are and have a bit of a laugh. Um, and the good thing is you can actually build your own 404. And um, to do that, all you really need is um, access to your WordPress backend, whether that's through uh, cPanel or FTP. You must have a child theme. If you don't have a child theme, if you go to thriver.virtualweb.com.au, uh, I give away a, here we are, a number of uh, free child themes, one for each of the 10 Thrive themes. So if you just work yourself down the page, find the theme that you're using. Right now I'm using Ignition on this site. So I would need an Ignition child theme. If you're using a voice or storied or whatever it may be, you must use the child theme that matches the parent. Absolutely imperative. Once you've downloaded it, just follow my directions there. It's uh, no different than uploading any other theme. You need to activate it. And basically, look, what's the easiest way of explaining a child theme? It's like putting a layer on top of your parent theme that you can make customizations most often to uh, things like the 404 obviously uh, but particularly the functions file if you ever play around with that and customizing CSS so um, and basically what it means is that whenever you have to update your theme you're not going to overwrite the customizations that you've made so uh, very good practice I don't always make customizations, but I still use a child theme just in case. Okay, I'll let you do that and we'll get on with this. You can pause the lesson and once you've done that, come back and join us. Okay, let's go back to the home page. Okay, the other thing you need is a text editor. My chosen text editor is Sublime. Uh, you can use brackets, notepad plus plus whatever works for you and what we're going to do is start creating our 404 now 404 is a really simple template it's basically got two hooks one to get that your normal header so whatever is in your theme is the header it'll pull that and same with the footer and in between we're going to put some html code that we're going to build in a minute don't get put off by it we're actually letting the content, uh, Thrive Content Builder do all the hard work and the heavy lifting, and we're just gonna pinch the code and paste it back here. So to get started, guys, we just need uh, two lines. Both of them are almost identical. Uh, basically, PHP code with a WordPress hook, get header, round brackets, semicolon space, And close the PHP tag and just to cheat I'm going to change that to footer footer it's not quite what I want that's it I'm gonna put a couple of rows in between to paste our code when we come back to it for now let's just save that uh, I'm gonna save it into my download folders I can already see I've got a 404 PHP from doing this uh, day or two ago so I'm going to replace it. No worries. Now we're just going to leave that there and come back to your install of your website. And what we're going to do is um, add a new page. And you can pretty much name it whatever you want. We're not going to keep the page. I'll reiterate that if you want to keep the page as a 404 template to go back and possibly change in the future, no worries. 
save it as a page. Uh, you should be able to save it as draft without um, actually officially pu publishing it. I'm going to call this one 404 temp. I'm going to save it as draft because as you know, it needs to be saved as a draft or published to be able to use the um, Thrive Content Builder. It's a rookie mistake I made when I first started with Thrive Themes and it did my head in. Not being able to work out why the Thrive Content Builder wasn't working and it's because I didn't save the page. Okay, don't worry about anything that's on the page currently. When the, okay, there we are, the gray has gone. Uh, what we're going to do is build the 404, how we'd like it to read. Now, if you're not sure what, um, look, before we start, I'll um, show you what a 404 is, or the custom 404 that I've built, and you can do something similar if you wish. So I'm gonna use my, Thrive our homepage. I'm going to put in a page that I know doesn't exist. And all things going well. Page not found. 404 will appear. And I'm a Star Wars tragic from way back. So in this 404, I'm showing a bit of my personality and attempted humor or lack thereof. Okay, so I'm going to cheat. I'm going to copy some of this um, content that I've already written. We're going to go back to the Thrive Content Builder. And I'm going to paste that in there. So it's it's brought the formatting as well. You'd probably, if you did that, you'd have a paragraph. I'm fine with it being an H2. And then I'm going to add an image. Now, here's one I prepared earlier. My little uh, Star Wars joke that's not uh, centered. That's better. And then what I'm going to do, and I'll just type this out. I'm going to give the um, visitor an option. So uh, blah, blah, blah. Where'd you find this 444? Or you can return to the Thriver homepage via this link. OK, and just remember to do a link. We're going to highlight what we want to link. I'm going to add it up here. Now, while I'm, while I'm typing this, uh, that option to open in a new window, look, that's up to you. And no follow link. Well, if it's an internal link, don't tick it. If it is an external link, uh, possibly select no follow so you don't lose any of your link juice. Uh, it's probably neither really here or there with a 404, but look, it's just good practice. That's the general rule I stick to when I design. Okay, uh, that looks all good except uh, not big enough. I'm gonna boost that up to, let's try 32. Heaps better. Line height's okay, I can live with that. And look, we're done. Now that's probably the most basic 404 that I could have done for this lesson, but you can be as creative as you want. If, if, if it exists here, and you can build it using the Thrive Content Builder and any of the elements here, it's a high probability that it will work perfectly in the 404. But what I can't do is vouch for things like the Thrive Quiz Builder or opt-in forms. I haven't actually tried that with the 404. I know some people use it as a sales opportunity, direct people to another landing page, opt into the newsletter, give it a go. And if it works, if it looks good, please uh, post it in the comments so I can have a look and anyone else looking at this uh, tutorial can do the same. Okay, so look, I'm not concerned about saving it. It's up to you if you want to keep a copy of your temp uh, page. But what I am going to do is pinch the HTML. Now you click on that code symbol you just saw before that I clicked on. If not, I'll show you again. I just highlighted all of the HTML, copied it. Okay, there's the, the code symbol there will bring up your HTML if you missed that before. I've already copied it, so what I'm gonna do now is go back to our text editor. I'm gonna paste that right in the middle. I'm not gonna worry about formatting. Um, I kind of pref prefer it with as uh, little white space or, or spacing uh, between the elements and the code as possible. If you like it all line by line, 
uh, that's that's up to you I'll let you uh, sort that out with your text editor I'm just going to save that to ensure it's saved now look most of the hard yards is already done we just need to go to the back end of our WordPress site if you use FTP good chance you already know how to use it I do use it occasionally but I'm getting a bit lazy in my old age and I'm just uh, I find it easier just to go through cPanel at times so um, I've just gone through cPanel file manager gone to the root directory of my Thriver website and here's one of my core WordPress files uh, content you want to go into WP hash content and we're going to go into themes and as I said Ignition is my main parent theme, but the one that's activated is the child that I've added to the site. That is where we're going to add our 404, because what that will do is overwrite the 404 that's actually in the original uh, Ignition theme. So let's go in. You'll see that I've already got mine added from uh, when I did this a day or two ago. You're, all you need to do is upload either by FTP or there's a button that says, and it's right in front of me, that says Upload. Uh, 644 fine with that okay and somewhere downloads my 404 I would otherwise click open it would upload in less than a second I would go back and I would find it on this page worst case scenario you may need to reload if it isn't showing and it takes me back to the root drive let's find it again ignition child there's the 404 that side of things is done. How easy was that? Yeah. Okay. We're going to get rid of that. It's going to say, "Do you want to leave?" Yes. I don't. I don't need to save it. I'm confident I can build that again pretty quickly. Because we don't actually use the page that we created there. So we've built a template now, and it will draw whenever there's a, a can't find a page, it will draw on the 404 template that we just built. So let's just do one more test, even though we know this is going to work. We just did it before. You should have a 404 that is just like that or however you designed. Guys, if you found this tutorial uh, helpful, please share it on your chosen social media platform. Otherwise, comment, got any questions, comment, done anything exciting you'd like to share or not that exciting and you'd like to share, please comment. Be glad to have a look. Thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you in the next lesson.